Hello, Grade 8, and welcome to this week's Weekly Breakdown. So as you all know that we started with Unit 4, which talks about the solar system, and last week we started talking about objects in space, such as comets, constellations, we talked about planets and their movement. For this lesson, we are going to specifically talk about Earth, Earth's movement in space. There are two ways that Earth can move. It can either rotate, which means spin, or revolve, which means orbit. We're going to start talking about rotation. So rotation, there is an imaginary line that scientists called as axis. This axis extends from the North Pole to the South Pole, and it has a tilt of 23.5 degrees. When the Earth is facing the Sun, it means that it is daytime. If the Earth is facing away from the Sun, this means it is the nighttime. The rotation takes a one cycle, which is 24 hours, which means one day for Earth to rotate. As for the revolution, it is orbiting, which means it revolves around the Sun. How long does it take for the Earth to revolve around the Sun? Approximately one year. We call this as orbit or because it has an oval shape and as it rotates this is how we get seasonal change so we have seasons that are different in the northern hemisphere and seasons that are different in the southern hemisphere depending on the tilt of the axis and then we will also talk about the day length so some countries have days that are shorter or longer than other countries. This depends on the hemisphere that is going towards the sun or away from the sun. So if it is facing the sun more, it means that it has a longer day length. If it's facing the sun away or not facing the sun, it will have a longer uh, night and shorter days. We will also be talking about the gravity and orbit. So as we all know that Newton discovered the law of universal gravitation that every object is attracted to other objects. This is depending on gravity. We will also be talking how gravity is affected by distance between two objects and how it affects Earth itself as a planet in the solar system. And as usual, we are going to be using interactivities and online quizzes to assess ourselves and knowledge. Thank you so much, 8th grade. If you need anything, please let me know.